Hi, my name is Gunnar Berger. I'm a systems engineer at eGroup, and I'm here to demonstrate thin provisioning. This is a new feature in vSphere 4.0, which is the latest version of VMware's ESX platform. I'm assuming that most people viewing this video are already familiar with VMware and Virtual Center. What you see in front of us is a Windows 2008 test server, and I want you to take notice that this test server is using 11 gigabytes of total disk space, and also that the test server is powered on. I'm going to choose to right click and go to migrate of this test server. From here I'm going to choose change data store because we're moving the data store's location. After that I choose the HA cluster. And then I'm choosing the new data store location, in this case storage 1. After hitting next I then choose thin provision format. This is the format that's going to allow my 11 gigabyte image to be stripped down to only be the size of what's actually being used. The next screen I choose high priority, next and finish. At the bottom of the screen we can now watch as my virtual machine is being provisioned. This provisioning process takes considerable amounts of time. For my 11 gigabyte test machine it took roughly 20 minutes. So we will fast forward in time to the end of the provisioning process. With the provisioning process complete, you can now see that my 11 gigabyte Windows 2008 server is now only using 6.71 gigabytes of total space on my backend SAN. In case you missed that and that didn't just completely blow your mind, let me say that again. I have an 11 gigabyte virtual server that's now only using roughly 7 gigabytes of space on my backend SAN. That is a huge cost saver that allows me to allow my SAN to have more virtual machines on it and it makes it easier for me to back them up. This is awesome. Check out vSphere 4.0.